Hey, my name is Caleb from Caleb's Aviation, and today we're off to Alaska. I took this trip back in 2019, before the current travel restrictions. So I hope you enjoy this video of a trip I made to Alaska back in 2019. Welcome to Seattle, Washington. There was a quick layover in Seattle before hopping back on the plane bound for Alaska. Welcome to Anchorage, Alaska. Once we arrived in Alaska, we went to check out Lake Hood. It's the busiest float plane base in the world, and it's located right on the Anchorage Airport. Here in our last frontier, the airplane is the fastest and often the only carrier. The early Alaskan bush pilot has already earned a place in American folklore. Today, near Anchorage, modern pilots still fly the bush, making up the largest float plane operation in the world at Lakes Hood and Spinard. But no matter where you operate, the fundamentals of flying floats are the same. tell this was a float plane base with lots of parts for planes and float planes going in and out all the time. The next thing we did was explore the Alaska Aviation Heritage Museum. It was awesome to explore the museum, but my favorite plane there was this ex-Alaska Airlines 737-200 Classic Combi. And as you can tell, the 737s of the time were pretty big even back then. This is my dad standing next to it for an image comparison. Gotta love those JT-8D engines with classic clamshell reversing doors. As you can tell, I'm a fan of the 737. Here's a newer 737-400 of the classic series. It's also a combi freighter, and you can tell some key differences with the freighter door, and most notably, those CFM-56 turbofans. And for comparison, here's a 737-900 of the next generation family of Alaska Airlines. I mean, you can't have a video about Alaska without an Alaska Airlines plane in it. And then, for comparison's sake, here's one of their newest planes, an Alaska Airlines 737 MAX 9. You can tell the 737 has evolved over the years and has really changed into a much different airplane than it originally was designed as. Next, my family and I visited beautiful Denali National Park, which I highly recommend you visit someday if you ever get the chance. I'll leave you with some pictures and some scenes of the beautiful mountains and the wildlife we saw on that portion of the trip.
We went on a guided bus tour, which goes through the only road in the entire national park. And we went all the way to the end of that 92.5 mile road. For the rest of this trip, I went on a tour. It was a guided tour, and since it was with my family, it was also a family tour. Now I am not being sponsored, compensated, or anything like that by Talc Tours for making this video. But I have to say, it was an amazing trip, and my family and I will certainly not forget it. And I think it is one of the best ways to experience Alaska. As I mentioned, this was a family trip, so it was one of their Talc Bridges family tours. And the particular tour I took was incredible. The trip I took was called Alaska Call of the Wild. This trip goes through multiple different places, beginning in Anchorage, and then moving up around the southern part of Alaska. The trip begins and ends in Anchorage, and goes up and around Denali National Park, and then comes right back to Anchorage in the end. I'll leave a link in the video description with more information if you'd like to check it out. I highly recommend the trip. Some pictures of the de Havilland otter reef in over the Denali National Park area, and we also got to ride on the famous Alaska Railroad. It was an awesome trip. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and make sure you check out those links below if you're interested in maybe taking that trip. As always, until next time, wishing you blue skies and tailwinds.